Warning. The show you're about to see contains material unsuitable for children and questionable among most adults. Viewer discretion is advised. One, two, three, four! Chris Gethard, uh, your host as always. Uh, I want to give it up for this whole panel, the LLC, for uh, bringing us in. Hey, Hallie. And uh, yeah, we got a great show. Uh, we've been off for a few weeks, but we're back. Um, uh, we, we, I, I'm just really excited about the show. We got a very special guest here, Tim Williams, who, uh, yeah. If you're somebody that, uh, if you're one of the weirdos that watches the show and you stay up late at night, uh, you've probably seen him. He's in uh, the commercials for Trivago. Right. Um, and uh, there's sort of a cult of personality that's developed around you. Uh, yeah, some, something's going on there. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so we're going to get into that. Uh, yeah. I just want to say uh, uh, the topic for tonight, uh, if you want to call in, it's uh, how sad are you? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how sad have you ever been? Uh, but yeah, I want to check in with uh, our great panel. Uh, we got Bethany Hall, uh, our internet liaison. Uh, we got a chat going on with the ChrisGethardShow.com. Uh, what are the chat rests uh, saying? Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting nothing. I'll have to see this later. <laughs> JD, is a chat, is a stream person. Stream gross. I mean, most of the time it's Really need JD's direction. <laughs> Who expected a mind melt this early, says Matthew Thomas. Murph, says Frank. <laughs> Kevin and Pat doing the, uh, the B-horse shit. Sean Frommerland says, horse. this is amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Laughter Key, Albert Floor. Couldn't stay away, could you? <laughs> <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks, everybody uh, that's uh, talking on the chat. Uh, we are streaming live. We're on MNN right now, live. Uh, another one of our uh, old panelists, uh, Mr. Jokes. <laughs> Mr. Jokes, you've been with us since day one. Yeah. Uh, so what's your joke of the week? All right, joke of the week this week. Uh, comedy career's not going well. The only endorsement deal I ever got was from Velveeta. <laughs> they like my act because it's 100% cheese. <laughs> guys, guys. Mr. Jokes, joke of the week. I, I'm just trying to work on my craft. <laughs> And then uh, moving on, we've got the creature from the sea, the human fish. One, two, three, four. Human fish. Human fish. What's he thinking? Human fish. Human fish. Human fish. So mysterious. 
Human, human fish, what's on your mind tonight? Buffalo Wild Wings <laughs> versus Buffalo, 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 Buffalo. <laughs> Bill Brasky once fucked a guy till he loved him. <laughs> and uh, who wins? <laughs> Bill Brasky! Yeah. <laughs> Always reliable. Uh, <laughs> then we got Murph. Murph, how you doing? Doing pretty good. How's doing your okay. uh, How's your war with Gimgul going? Uh, it's it's about even. Yeah. Right now, but, uh, <laughs> uh, what'd you do over the weekend? Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, we got uh, we got Shannon O'Neill. Uh, Shannon. Uh, <laughs> Shannon, uh, I gotta ask you the topic of the show. Uh, how how sad have you ever been? Actually, I've never been sad. <laughs> you can't make it so sad. It's the ray of sunshine. Uh, hi, everybody. Um, that's a hard question. I've never really been sad. Um, so I don't know how to answer that. Uh, yeah, have you seen have you seen our guest, Tim? I'm happy too. Good. <laughs> Not as happy as me, though. <laughs> and Tim, we haven't really gotten to know you, but maybe this is a good icebreaker. How sad are you, and how sad have you ever been? Oh, man, am I sad. I mean, I just, I'm so sad. Can't you tell? I'm I don't really know. You sad. seem like a pretty, pretty happy guy to me. Well, yeah, I mean, if, well, it, it depends. I mean, you're a really handsome guy, and I'm like kind of a gargoyle. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. So you done a Wall Street somewhere? Oh, <laughs> nah, I'm too poor for that. <laughs> 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 um, so, uh, do we have any callers? Uh, I think we got Dan in Long Island on line one. Uh, hey, Dan, uh, welcome to Chris Gathered Show. How sad are hey. you? How sad hey, have you Chris, ever been? Man, I'm, I'm real sad. Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, uh, I'm more depressed than I've ever been in my life, man. I just yeah. had to drop out of college. Uh, oh, it's rough, man. Oh, uh, so so uh, why why'd you have to drop out of college, Dan? Uh, I don't know. I just couldn't uh, couldn't get out of bed in the morning. Yeah, so it sounds like depression. It's just rough. Well, uh, you know, you, you gotta you gotta find it within yourself uh, to pull yourself out of that rut. There's no easy answer. There's a lot of options out there, and you know, just look into it. And you know, just know that you have a family right here that's willing to support you and love you. Yeah, I mean, you, you guys are the best. And is, is this the saddest you've ever been? Uh, you know, top five at least. Top five? What what's the yeah. saddest you've ever been? <laughs> oh man. Hard to think. I don't know. Probably when you know this girl didn't didn't uh, she rejected me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah. But you know we all deal stuff. with rejection. I've dealt with rejection a bunch. I, I almost wrote for Saturday Night Live. That didn't work. <laughs> um, and then the show was pitched Comedy Central. That didn't work either. Uh, so you know. <laughs> Uh, just recently, I dealt with some rejection from a cable company that I won't mention. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I take comfort in the fact that I know I have a home here at M&N. Uh, will forever. <laughs> we got Peter in uh, Michigan. Uh, hey, Peter, how, how you doing? Uh, how sad are you? Uh, I mean, it's my birthday, so I'm not allowing myself to be too sad. That's but good. I'm trying my hardest right now. That's good. Uh, and you, you must be pretty thrilled because you're watching the Chris Gethard show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, if you're not too sad right now, how, what's the saddest you've ever been? Um, uh, I mean, I was once sad enough that I, I, I thought about killing myself, but I try not to dwell on that too much either. Yeah? Uh, what, what drove you to that? Um, I'd rather not get into that, honestly. Yeah, we shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> if you could just email me, uh, oh, I could give you my private email, or anyone in the chat can. Uh, <laughs> you could just talk about it there. Um, uh, th thanks for your call.
problem. Chris. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> Uh, turning out to be a, more of a bummer than I expected it to be. <laughs> uh, but we've got really earnest fans. Uh, line three, we got Nick in Connecticut. Hey, Nick, how you doing? Welcome to Chris Gethard Show. How sad Hi, are you? Hi, Chris, how are you? I'm good. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm, I've been pretty sad myself. Uh-huh. Yeah, last summer was really depressing. You want to hear all the grimy details? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can... I can't really get into a lot of them on air because it involves um, phone. Uh, well, I can't really talk about it. <laughs> but, uh, we don't want you to get yourself in trouble. Your parents probably watch the show as well as you do. Yeah, they, they do. So they, they'd say, Nick, please don't do that again. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I do have a song that kind of uh, goes with the whole Brooklyn thing you're going for. Oh, my God. I don't think it's ever. Yeah, we'd love to hear a song. <laughs> okay, so it goes like this. It goes, it goes, seven days three. What do you do? You got pops, them babies all up in your crew. Like, hell yeah, I'm going to work every single day. It's broke, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right on. Yeah, thanks, Nick. Uh, so, do you have yeah, anywhere where we no. can go uh, download your music for free or anything like that? Yeah, you can do that. Also, yeah, last summer I was addicted to fun sex. Have a good night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, on line four, we've got uh, we've got the great darkness. This is the great darkness. The saddest you will ever be will be in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Jersey Dave, do we lose him? <laughs> what was that? Darkness. What did what did they say when they called in? All right, uh, so all right, moving on. We got uh, we got uh, DRK, Dirk, in Queens. Dirk, Hello? are you you? How sad are you? Uh, uh, I'm actually pretty happy. Uh huh. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, I'm not a big fan of that special. <laughs> yeah. Good to have you guys back. Yeah, it's really unfortunate what happened to them, but uh, you know they'll get on their feet. I think they took it pretty well. I just don't get though. it, man. Uh, I don't get it. Uh, how sad have you ever been? Uh, I've been pretty sad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. It was a. <clears throat> just a couple of years ago, there's a. Uh, one of the lake house. They started with the lake house was uh, caught on fire, and uh, and then Sharon. Uh, my wife, she, uh, well, she left not too long after that, so uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, been a rough couple, couple months. We got Bill in Delaware on <laughs> Hey, Bill, you're on with the Chris Gethard Show. How sad are you? How sad have you ever been? Bill? Delaware? We got fans ben? all over the country. Hello? Can you hear me? Hey, Bill, what's going on? Hey, buddy. I've been I've been trying to get through to this show for the past year and a half, the Chris Gethard show. But every time I try to get through, it's just been a failure, and that's why I've been sad. Well, I'm sorry, uh, but you know, here we lose well, so uh, there's no failures. Uh, <laughs> tell me how sad. How you guys, sad? You guys have had this other guy on for the past few weeks. I think he's he's a little garbage. I don't know what's, what's yeah. going on. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we just hope he, he lands on his feet, but, uh... <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe he'll make it. Maybe, you know, maybe Joss Whedon will hit him up and say, come, come be in Black Panther. Maybe he'll be Black Panther. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel, I feel a lot better now. Now that, now that I've gotten through the show, I'm getting a conversation in, I feel a lot better. That's great. Uh, what's the saddest you've ever been? The saddest I've ever been is when I discovered that elephants' trunks aren't actually six feet long. What? <laughs> How long is an elephant's trunk? It's the day, I remember, I was six years old. <clears throat> I think it was, uh, I went to the, the local library and I found a book that said elephants' trunks aren't six feet long. Mur Murph, you have some insight on this. You were uh, recently uh, with the elephants. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, but it just kind of goes in and out of a haze, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> how, how are you doing with the uh, addiction? I was, I was doing pretty good. Um, I had a, a root canal yesterday, so I got a Vicodin prescription, so I ended up getting a hand job at a Jimmy John's last night. <laughs> Murph, he's the rest of our dog. He, he's, always, uh, he's always up to no good. Uh, but, you know, uh, uh, Wednesday is clean night. Uh, thanks for your call, Bill. Uh, what, do we have anybody uh, checking in on the chat? Yeah, uh, Juan Direction says, yeah, I want to see his tats. <laughs> I really like how sad you are. <laughs> mm -hmm. General consensus. Stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good advice. Good advice. Yeah. How much longer until a Morrissey reference? <laughs> I think it just happened. Yeah. I never want this hour to end. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, so I think I think it's only fair that we talk to our guest, uh, Tim Williams. Get one, one more round of applause for Thank you. Thank you so much. So uh, the Travago guy. That's yeah. the name you go by. Uh, do we have any? Sorry, right. I, I forgot to mention we've got random Marnie. Is that? <laughs> Can we even see her? <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta check her connection. Okay, well, uh, I, I'm not sure um, if we have the slides. Oh. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Uh, random Marnie checking in. She's a random dog that we just keep on the video screen. That's a dog? Yeah, it's a dog. <laughs> you can follow her at, at Marnie the dog. She has uh, how, how many followers? Over a million. Over a million. Really? <laughs> Yeah. At Marnie. At Marnie the dog. Okay, Isn't I'll check she, that out. She's super cute. <laughs> Shannon loves Marnie. All she does is talk about Marnie the dog. I love Marnie so much. Marnie makes me the happiest. <laughs> is it a Shih Tzu? Is that a Shih Tzu? I don't care. I don't know. I just love her. <laughs> so do we have any images from the Travago commercial? Not to cut away from Marnie. We love Marnie, but... Uh, uh, you may have seen oh. this uh, familiar face <laughs> late at night on TV. Um, uh, tell me, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm assuming you're just a working actor and you just got this random gig. Yeah. And then <laughs> did you, was there any expectation that this would become a huge online storm? I actually have some quotes uh, because this is a big sensation if you haven't, heard of the uh, online activity, uh, Slate said uh, that you are a sallow avatar of middle-aged masculinity. <laughs> so this is all real. You can look this up. A found object in a cult item, an accidental enigma. <laughs> uh, Rolling Stone said that you are the rare pitchman capable of haunting your dreams while simultaneously enflaming your loins. <laughs> they did say that. And yeah. then finally, at the beginning of an 89-page message board thread, <laughs> uh, it begins with, I want the Trivago guy to pound my boy Gina mercilessly. <laughs> and this, this is just the tip of the iceberg for you. Yeah, yeah, it I'm is. sure when you got this gig, you didn't expect any of this to happen. Of course I did. Oh, you yeah. did? No, no. Is this no, a no, common no, 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 thing? No. People just... Uh... No, 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 no. We didn't have, didn't have any clue that this would happen. It just came about, and uh, very surprisingly in a good way. So mm -hmm. we're, all, we're all happy. So it's been positive? All positive on the, on, online? Yeah, even the negative's been positive. Well, what's the, <laughs> what's the negative stuff? Well, the 89-page thing you're talking about there, mm -hmm. that, that blog. Um, no, it's just fun all the way around to sit and read tweets and uh, anything that you guys are writing out there has been extraordinary and bring them on. It's been a lot of fun. So this is not your first brush with fame though. You were an actor before. You were mostly known from, correct me if I'm wrong, for a German soap opera? Correct, mm -hmm. correct, <laughs> correct. Hey, he's not lying. It's the truth. It was called Guten Zeiten Schlechte Zeiten. <laughs> And that's good times, bad times. You can times. Google that. Yeah, it's out there. It's out there. Unfortunately, you have to pay like one euro ninety nine cents to watch an episode. You know the reruns, but they're out there. So, right? you, so you live most of the year. Uh, you, you grew up uh, in Texas, and Correct. then you moved to Germany. 
Well, I moved to New York first, okay. and then uh, from New York to, to Germany, mm -hmm. to Berlin. And what, what, what's kept you in uh, Berlin for so long? Hmm. Well, it's cheaper over there. Mm -hmm. There's uh, a lot of fun going on. It reminds me of yeah. New York back in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Murph was actually just in Germany. Uh, yeah. yeah. Red Light District. Yeah. Hookers. Oh, you, you were, him great him and his wife uh, took a, a vacation yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember exactly where I was. It's just kind of swirling lights. <laughs> oh, they have God. some fun stuff going over there in Germany. Yeah, right? a lot of fun, a lot of lot of ups and downs. But it was. Uh, it's right up your alley, yeah, buddy. Yeah, it was right up. <laughs> it was right up my alley. <laughs> I think I saw you the other night on television. Well, my 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 own private streams late at night. Yeah, it might have been <laughs> might have been Broad City. <laughs> um, are, do you do you kind of when you're when you're over there or when you're in New York visiting are, are you uh, are you a, a party animal? Because a lot of the thing it looked like uh, th they said that you looked like you were just like coming off of a hangover or something. <laughs> you just got a uh, very casual. Thing. Uh, right now, you seem very casual and comfortable. You're not like uh, all the straight other pitchmen. <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. It does not show. <laughs> this is guy's nervous right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, a, a, a party. I mean, this whole room right now, if this was a hotel, it'd be a big party, I think. <laughs> I mean, this should be a lot of fun. Look at you guys. You all yeah. Berlin perfectly. Yeah, very uh, weird. I like to have fun. I like to go out and with my friends, make some music, uh, you know. So you have a band? I do have a band. Tell me about band. your band, though. What, what, what do you sound like? Um, uh, it's a little bluesy, a little bluesy rock and roll style. Um, mm -hmm. Temporary Man, it's called. So Okay. And uh, if, uh, it's out there. If people wanted to look, would they just be able to Google that? Yeah, correct. Temporary yeah. Man, Tim Williams. Because I feel like, at least with our, our devoted fan base, uh, they are kind of, they attach to people really hard. Yeah, yeah, give him some love, yeah. Bring it on. And if, it, if you're one of us, you'll get at least like three stalkers out of this. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Stalkers. Yeah. Uh, so what's what's the weirdest thing that's come from your newfound fame? Are you, are you recognized on the street? Uh, I was offered uh, a free, uh, yeah, I am recognized on the street, and somebody recognized me on the street, and they told me I could have one of these free things where you go in and you sit and you put your feet in with these fish, and the fish eat the, the skin off your feet. You know, and I, <laughs> I don't need to do that. Actually, and they offered that to you because you were the Trivago guy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've actually had one of those uh, pedicures before. Super relaxing. Yeah. yeah. Shannon O'Neill gets pedicures about once a week. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, uh, uh, because of my fame, you know, I, I walked down the street, someone asked me uh, if I wanted to take a stress test. And uh, <laughs> that's sort of why I've, I've taken some time off the show. I've kind of been getting into uh, Scientology. Yeah. And, oh, <laughs> yeah. And that's just kind of my new path in life. And, you know, I'm trying to part those teachings, making sure my engram levels are, you know, even. Uh, have you ever been into that? No, have you met Tom and John? Tom and John? Maybe. John and Tom? I, I, I've made a lot of new friends in the past few uh, months. I mean, yeah, because, I mean, your, your show, I think they talked about it one time. Mm -hmm. The Chris Gethard show. I was out in L.A. and they talked about it. And they were trying to give me some pamphlets on Scientology. And I just kind of left. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like our fans. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, like, wh wh what would you like to do with this uh, momentum that you've got moving forward? <laughs> what's 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 the, your dream? Do you want to be the Trivago guy? Are you okay with that? I feel like there's so much more. You're, you... Yeah, well, you know, there's other avenues out there. Music, actually, like we've been talking about, and um, yeah. Some other, some other spots, some other things going around New York. Your show, of course. I'd love to come on again. Yeah, please yeah, come anytime. on. Anytime. This is one of my be, favorite be shows ever. Your musical guest. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think uh, we need to interrupt. We've got a, a, another special guest who's kind of got some goals of his own. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Connor Ratliff. Hey. Hey guys, you feeling good? Yeah. yeah. Feeling good. I'm feeling good. Uh, I don't know if you've heard. Uh, I'm training for the 2016 Olympics. <laughs> training. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and I'm planning on winning a gold medal. Uh, so I've been training really hard. 
I'm faster than I've ever been. I can jump higher than I've ever been able to jump before. I'm real excited. Uh, now you're probably, uh, you're probably asking yourself, uh, Connor, what, uh, what do you think you're gonna get a gold medal in at the 2016 Olympics? Uh, getting a suntan on the beach? <laughs> uh, first off, that's very funny. It's very, very funny. Uh, I want to know, who are your writers? <laughs> and maybe they want to work for this show? <laughs> but in all seriousness, no, that's not what I'm planning on getting a gold medal in. I'm planning on getting a gold medal in uh, one of the regular events, the regular Olympic events, if you were wondering. So uh, that's why I've been training so hard. Uh, my body in peak physical condition, uh, and I want it, I just want it to inspire you guys, you know? Let it inspire you. You know, let me achieving my dreams inspire you to achieve your dreams. Uh, obviously, I don't want it to inspire you, inspire you to achieve the same dreams as me. <laughs> if you are all inspired to become Olympic gold medal, medalists, that affects my chances of becoming an Olympic gold medalist. So find your own dreams, a different dream than mine, and achieve that. Um, also, I've been talking a lot about dreams. I see some confused faces. You might be thinking, Connor, are you talking about the dreams that you have in your bed at night when you're asleep? No, that's not the kind of dreams I'm talking about. I'm talking about goals. When I say dreams, I mean goals. And I'm going to be using these terms interchangeably. <laughs> so try to stay with me. Um, anyway, I really hope I've inspired you all to achieve your dreams that are different from mine. Uh, and uh, I'm going to get back to training for the Olympics. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Take it easy, guys. Congratulations, well, everybody. 2016 Olympics. So, Tim, I don't know if you need to run or stay, but we've got a great band coming up. Uh, I just want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Thank sharing you your much. emotion. And uh, I want to welcome this band. Uh, everybody, you should get up and dance. Uh, here's Milk Dick. Turkey legs everywhere. For, and I hope that it's where you think it is And I hope that when you try Your efforts see rewards And I hope you get married And I hope you have lots of kids I keep searching in the night You keep searching overseas You keep searching girl.
Don't you know you fucked up my high? I wish I could have just, just one, one last kiss. We got one more, we got one more. One, two, three, four. Don't, I don't look at guys. If girls are dancing, that's fine. Don't, don't, what? don't look at guys. If girls are dancing, that's fine. And if they're getting naked, even better. I, 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 I melt like butter. People want to see more of you guys. Uh, do you have any shows coming up? We have shows coming up? Yeah, we're playing April 17th. I f I'm nervous, so I forgot the place. You don't but seem uh, nervous. You're just playing guitar with your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Find us on Facebook. Find you on Facebook? Uh, great. Well, thanks so much, guys. Uh, so, uh, Bethany, do you have uh, any, anybody in the chat talking right now? Yes. A <laughs> uh, lot, of, lot of talk about the Travago guy. Mm -hmm. What are they saying? They're saying Trivago Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> we got That's a real fucking guest. <laughs> <laughs> the Trivago man is so handsome. I think he was on an episode of West Wing. <laughs> is that, is this agree. true? No. <laughs> and You're thinking of Bradley Whitford. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> close, close. The question I think most people also are wondering, I don't know what Travago oh, no. is. That's <laughs> <hard. laughs> I think we are um, here for the stone. We were supposed to have a Krav Maga expert on. I didn't expect all this, uh, all this, uh, <laughs> look at this. Uh, hey, what's up, we man? We are here for the stone. Um, hey, uh, oh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Give me the stone. Is uh, this, hey, hold on, hold on. Is this Gimgul related? I am not are you guys Gimgul. Gimgul. We are the great darkness. We have come for our stone. Uh, does anybody have their stone? <laughs> Who has our stone? Uh, JD, are these your friends? JD? We will kill all of you until we get our stone. Um, I, 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 look. I want your you friend? to talk less and give me the stone more. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what stone? Yeah. What are you talking about? Our stone. Who's, who's our stone? Who are you? The great darkness. It oh. was stolen from us. Uh. Okay. It was last seen here. What are you? <laughs> Shall be ours again. It's like some... Human fish? You remind uh, me what are your thoughts right now? <laughs> you remind me two, three, what? four. Human <laughs> fish. <laughs> you remind me... What's he thinking? You, you remind me of this girl. It's a, it's a, a trash. I wish his head has a wicked something within me. <laughs> It has awakened something within me. I want the stone. Candace? <laughs> well, this is weird. Uh, but that's how we roll here on the Chris Gathers show. We get really weird and crazy. Uh, I, think they're, I think they're horny. 
<laughs> Murph would know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Con Connor, are we good? I, I, uh, I just forgot I had a few more uh, things I wanted to talk about in my training for the Olympics. There's a lot of stretches you need to do. You know, you need to uh, do this sort of stretch. Dead? Um, all right, what's going on? We are the great darkness, and we are here to retrieve our stone. Look, we'll get, we'll, yeah, we, we'll get you this. We'll, yeah, don't kill anyone else. We'll get you this Everyone stone. will die. Look, nobody's gonna, we you, get nobody's our gonna stone. die. Don't Someone worry, has already died. <laughs> Nobody else is gonna die. Uh, look, what if we don't have the stone now? What can we do? Um, how? how I we kill do? you until we get the stone. When you say stone, do you mean like get stoned? Because I have Shut a bigot in fuck prescription. Up. Oh. Um, I don't know. Hi, my name's Shannon O'Neill, and I don't. We have to resort to any violence. I, think I don't want to hear you talk talking. about this. Yeah. Maybe we can work something out. I think oh. there's. There will be no oh. working out. <laughs> Look, we don't want it. We don't want anybody to get hurt. So, uh, Bethany, what <laughs> what are the chat rats saying right now? Very encouraging. Someone it, must it die. It gets better. That's it good. It gets better. That's it always does true. It gets better. <laughs> PB and J is never worth it. Someone must die immediately. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, no, come on. Oh. You will decide. No. Mm -hmm. I'm not picking anybody to die. You must pick someone to die. Or else what? Or else more and more people will fucking die. Okay, then I'll die. No. Well then, I'm saving you. Uh, I I don't know. Look, I'm not gonna pick who died. <laughs> but maybe maybe uh, uh, we have some callers on the line. Uh, yeah yeah yeah. Why don't you give us a call? Yeah 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 yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Why don't you give us a call? Yeah 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 yeah. I think I have some of the skin in my throat. Um, we've got Sudo in Florida. Sudo, help us out here. Oh, Sudo, it's not the time for this. <laughs> Limit your answers to one word. A name. All right, we've got Vasily in Russia. Ooh, Russia checking in. <laughs> cool. Cool. That's cool. Uh, Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hey, no oh. armed terrorist group, I am familiar with you. I do not have the stone you are looking for, but I'm willing to sell very prime meteorites with very Stop interesting Stop talking! You're not helping us. Chris in bed uh, who's got to die? Uh, I wanted to talk, I was sick, and I wanted to talk about that. Oh, no. <laughs> You gotta help You us. have the power would, to would kill someone Shannon right die? now. Say a name and they die. Janet. <laughs> Janet? Is anyone here Janet? Who is Janet? Is there a Janet there that can die? <laughs> Look, Bethany, is there anybody on the chat that's saying who's gonna die? Oh no. It's me. Oh. Why would you pick Bethany? Oh. But you know, I guess if anyone has to go, 
I'll sacrifice myself. No, 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 no. You don't no. have to die. You don't have to die. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> Darkness, come. I'm sorry. No! 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 no. One by one, you will all die until we get our stone. Somebody's got to have the stone in here. Who, who are you here to see? Give us a clue. It was here weeks ago. We haven't been here for weeks. It's been some other show. Different show. <laughs> different show. No, guys, bad time. Bad time. Bad time. <laughs> It's me. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> but I've got to give it up to my main man, B. <laughs> Thanks, Horse, no, my no, 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 no. friend. I'm glad to see we have such a stable audience in attendance. <laughs> this guy is a really I good can't B leave the great turnout tonight. It's great to be here. Hot cha cha. <laughs> Please stop horsing around and listen to me. I'd like you to guess my favorite version of basketball. A game of knockout? B-ball? At Hive Court? Of course not. It's a game of 21, but played with common horse sense. <laughs> oh, horse. Look, if somebody's gotta die, it's them. I want this horse dead now. Kill the horse! No, no, no! 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 I'm seeing my whole life flash before my eyes. To be or not to be. Oh, uh, goes to the writer, Noah Foreman. <laughs> so, Clear my face. Emma Noble, no, get away, Emma Noble. <laughs> Murder me, motherfucker. No, no, Emma Noble, no. You have so much to I live for. I want to kill you myself. Uh -oh. <laughs> no. No. Guys, you cannot be serious right now. All right, we made a, we made a promise many months ago that uh, on this show we would give a minute of the show to this uh, weirdo outsider comedian uh, that goes all over New York. Uh, his name's Seppa, so uh, here's the Seppa minute. <laughs> Are you Seppa? I'm MC Diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> they call me that because my rhymes are zesty. <laughs> Come on, guys, it's a goddamn fucking soda joke. Come on, guys. <laughs> I, I'm a freshman at the University of Saudi Arabia, guys, and there's a little bit of my rhymes for you tonight. Girl, I'm on the you porn. You know I got to go on uh, the, uh, I got the chub and uh, got, got the rub it out. And all right, anyway, guys, it's my pleasure to introduce to you, you, the best R&B singer in all of Zanzibar. Give it up for T-Bone Philip
really sorry. I didn't really want you to get wrapped up in this. Okay. Right. If we don't get our stone back. Uh, do we have any any callers? Anybody that's uh, can help us out? Does anybody know anything about the stone? Nobody say vacation. No. No. Kill him. Kill him. No. 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 Kill him. No. 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 Kill that guy. Somebody say Jason. What's my name? Vacation Jason. Yeah. All right. Kill that guy. That's the one that should die. I will not do as you say. <laughs> nah, man. Don't you know, we're cool. We go back, like, way back. <laughs> anyway, what's up? It's been a while. You know, winter. I wasn't here, obviously. <laughs> oh, God. This you look like you nightmare. need to relax, Chris. <laughs> you look like, I mean, you're already sitting uh. down, but maybe you need to take a load off and just uh, take a vacation from what is uh, going on here. I think you need to shut the fuck up and get the hell out of here. Yeah, you should, you should just try some, some of this fruit here. I think oh. it'd make you feel really good. Oh. Eat it. No, it's He's right, you should eat it. <laughs> Bite it harder. It's legit, it's legit, it's legit. Oh. Yeah, that's what's up. I don't eat fruit. Oh. You're gonna start today. Oh. Man, it's been a minute because, you know, I just got out of a long relationship with my girl. Uh, I found her, lost her again, Emily Pineapple. Um, it was hard, you know, because I came back to the city. It's still cold. It's March. Like, not trying to be here during this time. So I thought of a couple other places that I could be. Trivago guy, you going to help me out with this one? <laughs> so I'm just going to say a place. You and you're going to tell me this. If, if you could get me a deal. Okay, Turks and Caicos, can you get me a deal? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. The Bahamas, can you get me a deal? Of course I can. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right, the Canary Islands. Any, any time. This is my dude right here. Like, He's why totally you not got him on the I don't know why you haven't killed him yet. Maybe he has the stone. Nah, man, I just got this. I just got this fruit right here. I mean, I went to Stonehenge, but that was a little hard. That's landlocked. I was like, not about it. <laughs> What's up, my man? Oh, you <laughs> This guy. Mr. Jokes, do you have anything to lighten the mood right now? <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Uh, I don't know why you guys are running half-cocked. <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 never mind. That's uh, going to get you killed really fast. I'm dying up here. Uh, <laughs> Man, you just gotta get used to it. Death is like the ultimate vacation, you know? Like, I said I'm ready to go on that one anytime. I hate you so much. Even I, it's all up, man. In this scenario right now, I maybe hate you more than ever. Chris, I don't know why we gotta be enemies. Because you're terrible. Man, I think you just need to relax, and you don't know how, because you're some NJ city slicker type. Uh. <laughs> All right, well, it, can someone please kill him? We please. will not do as you say. That's All right, what's up. Then I, we went milk, to Ibiza together. Is Milk Dick still alive? Is Milk Let's Dick still roll. alive? All right, can we? Great darkness. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Come on. Oh, shit. Duh. I'm, I officiated that man's wedding. <laughs> Shannon and I have been secret lovers, sorry, Hallie, for years. <laughs> we cannot be killed. We cannot be stopped. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here's more from Milk Dick. Get yourself a ritual! Coffee and drugs! Coffee and drugs! Hey, coffee and drugs! Coffee and drugs, coffee and drugs. 
don't kill us. Thanks, Milk Ditch. Uh, man, is it? Oh, I want this to have a banana man. Kill him now! Kill him now! Burger! What do you want? We don't have what you want. We don't have what you want. I don't know what you want. You will all die. No, we don't have to die. We don't have the stone. We, we're not of any use to you. Go somewhere else. Go find the stone. You're the you have place. entered. Our circle of pain. Our grand wizard will be here soon. We're all very happy that he'll be here soon. He would fish. I'm so sorry. Okay. I wanted it to turn out this way. No, you didn't. Versus, I felt like I've done this to you all. Bring the show back. I want you to die. I want you to die. Just me, just kill me, please. We'll kill everyone. <laughs> just kill me, I'll be the martyr. I'm a martyr for everything. <laughs> <laughs> this man is mine, but everyone dies now. <laughs> 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 Kill! <laughs> Kill everyone! <laughs> no! <laughs> the great darkness will have its day. Master. Master. I Master. am the Grand Inquisitor. Uh, Hail master. me as your new dark leader. Minions, who of these is willing? Who of these is necessary? Who will be executed? Everyone is dead and dying. No one is necessary. Then we shall move forward with our war. As you wish. Praise me. Praise the Grand Inquisitor. The war is coming. 
The great darkness will prevail over the great lightness. And those who betray me will burn the flames.